Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are starting a brand new campaign in RTR Imperium so Rectum on the brand new Illyria update. And with the Illyria update, who better to play than the RDAI, one of the quintessential Illyrian factions in the game. I cannot wait. We are going to be playing on hard, hard and no extreme mode for this one, guys, because I want to play the mod as it's balanced and as it's designed to be. But don't worry, all you guys that like seeing me suffer, there's going to potentially be another campaign on Very Hard, Very Hard Extreme, and of course, plenty of challenge videos as well. But let's get onto the campaign map. Before the RDAI, the Autariati tribe ruled this region, having a big sway over the lands around here. But in the 4th century BC, the Autariati was pretty much devastated, not quite destroyed, but devastated by an invasion of the Celts. And this would lead to the rise of the RDAI. Under Agron, which is actually a starting faction leader's son, they would expand quite far and wide, creating a large Illyrian kingdom. They got very, very far and become, became very large indeed. They even helped the Akarnanians against the Aetolians in a war in 232 BC. That's how far and how strong these guys became. And it was only after Roman intervention against Queen Tutor that would lead to the RDAI really, you know, falling short and having a very difficult time after this. The Romans banned them from going below Lissos, which is seen to the right of the image here, the most northerly Illyrian kingdom settlement. And this predominantly crippled them from raiding and sending troops down below Lissos, which led to their slow decline after. In terms of our starting position, guys, it is one of the harder ones on the campaign map, in my opinion. We have very little money, we have very poor small settlements, not much of an army, and we are surrounded by potential enemies. To the south, we have the Labaeateans and the Illyrian Kingdom. We actually start allied with these guys, so hopefully, in the long run, they're not going to attack us too quickly, but we'll find out, I guess, won't we? Slap bang in the center of our land and to the east as well. The east is the Altariati settlement. We have the cultural generic Illyrians. We also start allied with them. But how long that alliance will last, I have no idea. And to the north, we have a trio of enemies. The De Citiates, the Del Mate and the Assians all ready to take a piece out of the fledgling RDAian kingdom. In terms of the aims for this campaign, guys, we are going to be trying to unite all of the Illyrian people under one great banner, creating a great Illyrian empire from Histria in the north down to the Illyrian kingdom down in the south. And of course, controlling the Adriatic and then looking further afield, potentially Rome, potentially Greece. So if you are on the road for that, if you're ready to ride with that, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated, especially seeing as it is the first video in the campaign, it will really help it get out to more people. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. So guys, here we are with the RDAI to start with. We really do have a very, very, very very weak start. I've done two runs on these guys already. The first one went relatively decently, but we were attacked by the De Citiates, the Del Mate, and the Assians pretty quickly, but they attacked us in sort of a uh, kind of a staggered order, so we could deal with them one by one. Now, in this second run, they all attacked pretty much within two turns, and it was relatively difficult, as you can imagine. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what we want to do, but there is one thing I definitely know I want to do to start with, and it's get rid of this guy and get him into a different settlement over here. So we are going to get him over here, Plato the Nestian. We're going to send him all the way back to Rhizon to govern the settlement. We've got Belidos the RDAI as well, and we have Pluratos, who is a very famous uh, RDAI and king. I mean, if we have a look at his family tree. We can see Agron here. He is a very famous RDAI and king. He was the one who expanded the RDAI so far. And after one of his victories, he um, 
drunk himself to death, guys. That's how hard he partied. So he liked to party as well. So um, cool, cool guy. But uh, yeah. <laughs> So we are going to gather our armies up in the capital. Now, there's a couple of options for us. Down to the south, we are allied with the Labeatians and the Illyrian Kingdom. Now, in both of my runs so far, they have decided not to attack. So that is one thing that is, you know, very, very good for us. Um, so, yeah, we'll potentially leave them alone for now. Now, it's when these guys all attack that it's going to be incredibly, incredibly difficult to deal with so let's see let's see if we can get our spy oh it's only a 25 percent chance we are going to clean up our land over here basically take these rebel settlements then we're going to just see what happens with the other factions because Issa seeing this might go for it straight away and i'm thinking with Issa, we want to just blitz them down basically whether we can or not i don't know like i said earlier we're not going to play on extreme mode for this campaign we are going to experience the mod as it is designed to be experienced and as you can see our settlements narensopolis is a town we have a uh, glinditionopolis over here which is a village um, we've got this settlement, Epidauros, here, which is a town. And we've got Rhizon, which is a large town. All of them pretty much losing population at the start. And, of course, Nestos, which we left, is a village. So we are very, very weak and very, very poor. So we have got to get this, uh, this faction up to strength very, very soon. And I think the best option is to go for Enderon here. Now, I'm going to come around this way just in case we've got enough movement points to go back the other way. I'm also going to bring this guy in as well. In terms of Pluratos, he is actually a fantastic general. He's a confident leader. He is well supplied. Well, that's fine. But he is a veteran commander, guys. Experienced raider, pillager, good attacker, superstitious, religious, pious, lover of the gods, mighty war chief. So... He is a fantastic, fantastic leader for our troops, even though he has no command. He's got plus one morale, plus three attack, all that sort of thing. Lots of looting as well, so that'll be good. But we are going to bring across Baleos, which is our faction heir currently. We will make that Agron when we get chance. We're going to bring him in too, so fantastic. There we go. We're going to take the settlement before we spend any money, guys, because I want to see how much money... We're going to get, but let's get into the battle then. Our first little battle of the campaign should be very, very small, but I am going to play it out, guys, because trust me, when I've played these guys in the test runs, every single troop counts. Every single troop really counts in this start. So we are going to play it out, and I'm going to try and lose as little troops as possible, try and use the generals as much as possible. So let's get into it, guys. So in terms of the tactic, guys, I am literally going to try and skirmish them to death with the one slinger unit we have. That, that is how much I am worried about our troops and losing any of our troops at the minute. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much going to be a slinger a slinger job for a little bit and see how much we can uh, whistle them down. I know they're only skirmishers, but they are on the town square, guys, so they will last forever. And like I say, we don't want that. What I will do, though, is try and catch this general unawares while he is uh, while he's going with that. And if these guys do chuck their javies, we want them to chuck them at the slingers while we can. Let's see if we can catch him. Looks like he's getting a little bit caught up. So you guys should be on fire at will. There we go. We've got our generals in the action now. Oh, my God. The slingers have just gone for the... Uh, the, uh, the guys have just gone for the attack. Ha, <laughs> ha. That's a little bit silly, I'm not going to lie, but uh, that's fine by me. You guys now try and get in, if you can. Hopefully we can surround this general and kill him. Who would have thought such a, a battle like this would be such a uh, such an action-packed one to start with? But there we go. Straight in there. That's what happens with the Illyrians. Get in there, guys. Get out, Attack them. Attack them. Try and get them before they get into the town square. What I might do is just send my two slinger units in here for now and leave my uh, good units out the back. When we get to a bit of a bigger battle, guys, I will show you some of the uh, the units and their lovely, lovely look. But, of course, we have done full videos on that as well. How are we losing so many men here? 
This is actually a bit of a concern. I'll show you some of them now, but they just look awesome, don't they? They look so good. <laughs> really? Oh, it's because they're getting their javies off. Come on, guys. Like, how is that allowed? You should not be allowed to do that. And there we go. Firing the javies into the slave javelin men. Well, let's, uh, let's chill out for a second. Should be nice and easy for the rest of the battle. Well, there we go, guys. We did manage to break this unit of Illyrian footmen, I think it was, or Southern Illyrian skirmishers. Um, but this unit, unfortunately, the Southern Illyrian skirmishers, even though they were engaged in melee across their whole front, were just firing their javies constantly. So it has destroyed that unit a little bit, but overall... A fine victory. 85 is a little bit more than I would have liked to take. I was hoping about 50-60. Uh, but that's not a problem at all. Hopefully that'll allow our, <laughs> our upkeep to go down slightly. Um, so yeah, let's get back onto the campaign map. Well, there we go. We are going to be enslaving a lot, guys. Basically because our fertility in these regions is so low. Have a look at how low it is. So let's have a look. Yeah, low up here, low over there. Medium around here, low there and low there. So we're going to need to rely on enslaving to grow our populations. How are the... Yeah, the, unfortunately the footmen cannot reach the next settlement. I could risk it with the cavalry, but honestly, I don't think it's worth it. For now, what I'm going to do is leave behind the slave javelin men, And we're going to go to Butthole over here. Buto. <laughs> What the hell is that name? <laughs> and if you are enjoying this video, guys, and you do want to see more of this series, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help the channel out. But let's have a look at what we want to do first. And first of all, we definitely want some more troops. So I'm thinking we go for some more Southern Illyrian Spearmen. We could go for the Axemen. So let's have a look at their stats. The Axemen are decent because they're armor-piercing, but... You've got to remember, around here, there are so few units with armor that it really doesn't matter too much. Javelins destroy the Illyrian units, guys. Like, look, two armor. These guys have two armor. So, javelins absolutely ruin them. So, they do have javelins, which is good. But I'm thinking we go for one more Southern Illyrian Spearman, and then with the rest of our money... Potentially, we would like to have been able to get the gold mines, but it's 5,000 gold. I'm thinking we upgrade both of these settlements. Whether we have enough, we just about have enough, I think. Just about. Let's upgrade these both to town because that's going to bring us more money over time. Allow us to fortify these areas as well. So, yeah, that is definitely the option there. And then we can actually build some better stuff once we've taken this settlement. And got a little bit of extra money. So for now though, let's uh, let's upgrade all of our taxes. Ooh, 70%. Let's leave it low for now. You're going to have to go down, unfortunately. You can go right up, although you've got no one there. Let's go up to high over here. And we'll go up to very high. I really don't care about Narensopolis. Just like I don't care about Nestos, which we're going to smash up to uh, very high. Uh, because this is like the battleground between us and the Day City 8s. And it's going to get taken at some point, guys. <laughs> but anyway, let's end the uh, turn there, guys. So the Del Mate have offered us trade, which we know is a sign that they're going to attack us. I don't think they'll take... Oh, they will take an alliance. Generous, apparently. That is kind of insane. We've got, to, we've got to take that. That's going to buy us some time. I'm also going to sell some map information. Essentially, that's 600. They probably accept that. Good. Fantastic. And Issa has taken the settlement. We knew that was going to happen. That's why I abandoned it in the first place. And there we go, guys. The first turn has ended. So we are... Am I going to risk the spy? I think it's worth risking him. <laughs> okay, fantastic. He's been killed. <laughs> As expected, let's be honest. Um, and we're going to besiege this settlement. It's going to be a little bit of a harder challenge to take this one. But that's fine. We've also got a candidate for adoption. We are 100... Oh, we're not going to accept it, apparently. We will get one next turn, though. Probably because I went off that thing and had a look at the spy. Um, I think if you go off the candidate for adoption and go to another message, it cancels it. So, uh, yeah, bit of a mistake there. We've also not used our diplomat... But that is pretty much because these guys normally hate us. They like, I'm not going to lie. Also. Although, how is this happening? Maybe it's because it's so early on. 
Hmm. Well, let's sell the map information. If they can stay... I don't need them to be allies for long. I just need them to be allies for long enough to take out the Assyrians. We've got alliance with the Libertaeans and trade with them and the Illyrians too. So we don't need to worry about them for a little while. But let's maybe try and find the Liberni and get an alliance with them. Because, of course, they are very powerful at the start of the game. More, much more powerful than us, in fact. So, let's also have a look at what we can build. Nothing in there. Let's build some farms in Epidaurus here. It makes us a thousand gold. Anywhere else that makes more than a thousand. I mean, Narensopolis does, but like I say, that's not a good city to be investing a lot of money into. So, we're going to pop it into um, Epidauros over here. And we're going to siege down... Butho, I don't think there's anything else we want to do now. But, uh, yeah, Issa, like I say, has taken that settlement. But if we can blitz down these three settlements here, that's going to give us a lot of money because I'm going to destroy a lot of buildings in them. Well, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> but for now, let's get on to turn three, guys. Well, let's not cancel this adoption. Let's accept 22. He is bright, magnetic, and vigorous. He's an adult, of course, <laughs> as well, which is good. So, uh, Zopyrus in here, great name, Zopyrus. Undecided, he's rational, considerate, pessimistic, adult, green commander, of course, um, and he's determined as well, which is good. Um, now, I'm thinking with him, we go and govern Epidauros over here, probably the best option for him. Let's get him governing in there, going to bring us some extra money anything else we want to have a look at lots of stuff going on dardania and the paeonians are at war um Epirus has broken its alliance with the gcs probably to attack those settlements down there in the south down here um well obviously north of Epirus, uh, but yeah south of the illyrian kingdom and what else we did build a couple of buildings didn't we enderon and glinditionopolis yeah yeah i'm gonna struggle with that name the whole time Let's uh, assault the settlement first and then see how much money we can afford because we might want to go for a quick cheeky retrain if we've got enough money. It's unlikely we'll have enough money to retrain everyone, but depends how many we lose in the assault. We've only got two rams and they predominantly have missile troops again, but they have some Southern Illyrian spearmen and Southern Illyrian Axemen, so it's all going to be about encircling within the city, guys. So let's get into the battle. Today is a good day to die, yes. But better still to live and remember brave deeds done well. Yes, glorious speech. And I think this is as good a time as any to show you some of these units, guys. We have the Illyrian Noble Spearmen. This is one of our elite units that we're going to get later down the line. Look at them. 48 defense, 16 melee attack, and 19 morale. They are fantastic. We've got our Southern Illyrian Axemen, as we've already seen their stats. Very good against Hoplites and that sort of thing. So they're going to be good against Issa, but not so good against the rest of the Illyrians, especially the Northern Illyrians that don't tend to have a lot of armor. This is our bread and butter unit, the Southern Illyrian Spearmen. Good defense and good melee attack. So these guys are going to be a good defensive unit for us going from now on. They just die so quickly to missiles, though, as well. And then we have our Southern Illyrian Skirmishers here, um, looking really cool. Some Slave Javelin Men, our Generals as well, looking absolutely Chad-like. Very nice indeed. So I've just got my boys, the Southern Illyrian Cavalry, firing over the walls here to try and get rid of some of these Axemen. As you can see... Javelins destroy Illyrian units, like just one volley and they're already down 10 men. Here comes another volley on the wrong side for them as well. And this is over a wall, so it's not even that accurate. So yeah, it is absolutely insane. So we've got to use our javelins when we can, guys. That's going to really, really help us out in the long run. So here we go, breaching the walls, guys, getting in. The other thing you'll notice with the Illyrians is they run so fast. They're like the Thracians. So it is quite a bit of a breath of fresh air for me, having used phalangites and heavy units for so long. Um, it's really nice to see a unit that can actually, you know, run pretty fast, do some damage. So, uh, yeah, it is it is fantastic. I'm going to get these guys in here if they can. Come on, boys, get in there. These guys need to go and engage them before they start shooting us to death. We're going to get our slingers in. Also going to get the footmen in if I can. 
One of you should go around this way. One of you around that way. You can see just how many men we're losing, even with our great defense against these missiles. So there we go. Let's go from both. No, 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 no. There we go. I think you can come this way. I think they can. But uh, we'll see. Did these guys get a javi off? Let's go with the second volley then. Oh, brutal, brutal, brutal attack. Brutal attack there. Very nice. Let's go, boys. Get in there. Okay, looks like they can go that way. Good. These guys are going to struggle now. But they are just fighting cavalry and some more southern Illyrian spearmen. So what I'm going to try and do is bring my general around this way. Potentially these guys too. I might even get these guys here to fire into the enemy. These boys can get up here and fire down that way. That'd be amazing. For now, though, yeah, I think we're going to beat them. But it's going to be tough because, of course, we are on hard. So they will have be uh, bonuses. So this is going to be... Okay, there we go. There goes the cavalry. I want you guys to fire at the southern Illyrian spearmen and really do them some damage. You guys can also come forward. Come on, Cav. Let's go. Let's go, Cav. Let's get around. Let's see what we can do up here. They have a lot of units still up here, but they are pretty much just javies and all that sort of thing. They do have a general who's a pretty big general, as you can see. Oh, there goes the javelins, though. The javelins are absolutely shredding them. Come on, keep that coming. Keep that coming, boys. Keep that coming. Look at that. Bit of friendly fire going on. But, uh, yeah, they should be easy to take down with those javelins, especially being shaken, not stirred. And as you can see here... We're going to try and uh, game the game by making them throw their javelins. There we go. This should hopefully whittle them down a little bit more. Come on, boys. I know it takes you a while, but I didn't realize that long. Okay, there we go. They've got the javelins out. Whether they do much damage with this, I don't know. Let's see. Yes, actually quite a lot. Now attack them. Let's see if we can get the noble spearmen in on the action as well. That should hopefully scare them a little bit more. You guys are all sort of done. Oh, here we go. What do we have here? Southern Illyrian skirmishers. They're going to be easy to take out. Going to leave you off fire at will for now. Should not be too difficult. Should be able to absolutely ruin them with our cavalry. The Southern Illyrian general, by the way, guys, is a lot better than the Northern Illyrian general. And I think the Southern Illyrian roster is quite a bit more powerful as well. In fact, now we're going to have to bring you guys into this fight because he's got his general in here. That's not good. That's really, really not good. Did we break these guys yet? Now they're broken. Okay, good. And then what do we have around here? Nothing to worry about. What I'm thinking is we send you there. And then I want to send you into the back of the general. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Bloodier battle than I was expecting. But uh, we're doing quite well. So I want you guys to get there. If you can get in there, that'll be good. These guys are firing up here. So let's go. You guys get in the action. We've also got slave javelinmen, so we do need to be careful of them. Let's rally the men with good Pluratos over here. Legendary uh, commander. Let's go. Come on, the boys. That is the worst charge I've ever seen, boys. Come on. <laughs> but it's just to surround them, hopefully break them. Like, we should be able to break these guys pretty easily. Come on, boys. I know it's quite tough for you. There we go. We've broken this unit too. Fantastic. Let's get on to the town square. Attack them. Right. That is good. We are we are in a good position now. We're in a very, very good position. I want you to get off here. And, oh, this is why they were struggling so much. Because they had half their unit around there. Uh, oh, God. I got the noble spearmen are just going in for the fight. I'm, I, I'll accept that, bro. <laughs> I will accept that. Let's go. Noble spearmen in there. You guys back on fire at will. Everything's turned a bit chaotic. <laughs> nice. Um, right, you guys around here now. Please do it sensibly. You guys, I want you guys on one side. We're going to get our noble spearmen and cavalry on the other. So we've got elites on one side and elites uh, and just normal units on the other. Apparently, they all want to go this way. Noble spearmen, where are you going, bro? Oh, they got a path like that. That's so weird. This unit's like pathing around half and half. So, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. But uh, hopefully we can break them. That, that'll be the main thing. Let's get into here where we've got people not pathing weirdly anyway. Um, generals, just get out. I don't want to lose a general, just a weird pathing. Um, and we've managed to break these boys now. So you guys chase them down. Footman, you can come up too. That's not a problem. So let's just get killing all of these slave javelin men. 
There we go. Get them. They're all going to be on the town square. So this time, we're just going to grind them down. But a glorious victory, my friends. Well, there we go, guys. That was actually a pretty glorious victory. We only lost 173. That is really good. So a glorious victory. The general doing the most, actually, there. The axemen were one-to-one, -one, which is about right because they were fighting axemen. Um, anyone else do particularly good? I mean, not really. Some good stats, like the Southern Illyrian Spearmen held their own there, and I thought they would, so a glorious little victory. The Slave Sling has lost nobody and killed loads. I think Missile Troops might be the strat for these boys, but, um, let's get off this battle map. And we have taken the butthole. Here it is. Let's enslave as well. And let's make sure that we do repair that. Just in case the Labeataeans decide to attack. I don't think they will. But um, it's just in case. And we're going to leave it undefended. No, in fact, we're going to leave this undefended. We're going to swap them around. Bylos, you are the faction heir. So you are staying in here. So Pyrus, you are staying in there. Sorry, yep. There we go. How much money do we have? Not enough to retrain pretty much anyone. I'm hoping next turn we do, though. So what I might do is save my money and try and retrain them all at once. So we're not losing money to um, to upkeep for a turn for no reason. I would like to get a palisade here. Because it does border the Illyrians on two sides. There goes Issa. So we do need to be quick about whatever we're doing. Is there anything in Bootho that we want to destroy? No, that's all good buildings for us. So, uh... Yeah, we're going to keep it like that for now. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. So, Messene is dead. And I don't believe I've talked about the aim too much for the campaign, guys. The aim is going to be to unite the Illyrian peoples in one massive kingdom. Become the king, the undisputed king of Illyria. I think that's going to be a fantastic aim for us to have. So, uh, yeah, very much looking forward to to that and the Isaians have attacked us up here now they don't have much troops so I'm, I'm wondering whether they can build rams in time but i definitely want to try and get this army retrained for now and with the rest of our money it we really do need to be building troops guys but what i'm going to go for is the southern illyrian skirmishes or we could go for slave singers they're really cheap upkeep and they're actually pretty good, and they can garrison afterwards too. So potentially let's go for that. Let's build the land clearance in there too. Land clearance are one of the best buildings. And the good thing about leaving Nestos is the fact that now you can see the AI has upgraded it for us. So they've spent the money on that, and we should be able to go and take it back pretty quickly. Let's accept that adoption. He's going to be another general in our army, I believe. I know we'll... With general stacking, but I'm going to try not to stack too much um, as well, which is uh, which is pretty good. Um, to try and stack three generals, I think, is the most I'm going to stack in an army, unless we absolutely have to, uh, to defend our lands, for example. So, uh, yep, let's uh, wait one more turn, guys. In fact, I'm going to stick uh, Pluratos just outside the city. That might give us a little bit more movement points. I don't think it will, but it's worth the risk, isn't it? It's worth trying it out. Um, and we did actually get an alliance with the Laburnie as well. I don't know what's happening early game here, because this did not happen in my uh, in my practice runs. Apparently allies with every... Oh, that's broken our alliance with the Laburnie. Yeah, well, that was a bit dumb, wasn't it? Um, let's go back to them. Yeah. Most I don't want the Iopodes. I'd rather the Le Bernie. They're a lot more powerful than the Iopodes. And let's go talk to the history. We've got trade and alliances with so many people, but we need to get on to Issa as quick as possible. Anything else? Yeah, we've uh, we've sorted that out. That's good. <laughs> but let's end the turn. So, I don't know whether Issa has rams or anything now. They have a single ram. We do have a general, but it's, you know, it's definitely not going to be enough to take the city. Who is the governor here? Plastor? Who cowers behind walls? Well, I don't think we're going to take you. Uh, we've got Bardalis here as well. Yeah, Bardalis will take him. Uh, although he does have three management. Hmm. He's not that good a manager, though, in general, looking at this. Let's have a look. Yeah, like it's extra little bit of fertility. Let's have a look at you. 
Mm, good, yeah, popular standing. I mean, he's got some good stats. But 10 taxes, yeah, you're definitely staying, my friend. You are staying as the guy in here. Jump into this army. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get any more movement points. But we are going to come uh, this way. Let's go there. And let's go for them. So we should get it, be able to get them next turn. Don't know what the Illyrians are doing there. It's a little bit scary. We do have the Olympic Games. So, of course, your characters now can join the Olympic Games. Oh, my God, yes. Yes. Zopyrus has the best stat. The best trait. <laughs> Fond of Dalmatian carrots. This man is a big fan of eating the wild Dalmatian carrots. And it's easy to see why, uh, why since his health has greatly increased. <laughs> oh, so if you didn't catch that on the traits and ancillaries video, guys. Apparently Dalmatian carrots were quite famous in the area. Um, wait, was it Dard is it Dardanian or Dalmatian? I need to check. Dalmatian? Okay. Yeah, so... Carrots from around this region. <laughs> and yeah. He likes the carrots, apparently. He's a, he's a carrot man. Um, but yeah, he loves the carrots. So uh, that's fantastic. Can you reach that army? No. Well, we'll leave you in there for now. In fact, we'll swap you out into Epidauros. Let's see. Are there any more cheap farms we can get? We can actually get a farm there. Although I did want to... Uh, build the walls, but the farm should be okay for now, as long as Issa doesn't take that. Which they probably will do at the end of this turn, won't they? Let's be honest. We can also get those farms. Good. That's going to really help our income, guys, isn't it? Fantastic. Right then, guys. I will uh, start moving the diplomat around, go talk to a few people, and then uh, we'll end the turn there. So, guys, we have the battle against Issa. They did decide to attack. Don't think we're going to be able to win this, but um, <laughs> we are going to fight it anyway. I'm not going to keep all the battle in, guys. Don't worry. Um, but we're going to do some shenanigans, see whether we can destroy the ram, maybe kill their cavalry. I don't think we're going to be able to kill 61 Progemoy, even though they are Progemoy. Um, we're definitely not going to be able to kill 122 Asai and Hoplites unless they rout. So, yeah, it's all about just killing as many troops as possible here. Unfortunately, they've done exactly what we didn't want. They've come to the gates with heavy units. And Thuriophoria as well that will be able to chuck their Javi. So I'm going to try and charge them first. Turn and charge the, uh, the Hoplites. But uh, whether that works or not, I don't know. Going to rally the men. Hopefully we can get this charge off before they chuck the Javelins. Please? Oh, okay. It was okay. It was okay. It wasn't... Amazing, but it was okay. Turn, men. Turn. Did lose a lot of men. General's still alive, though. All we need to do is touch these guys, and they should stop Stop with the ram. Okay, yep, they've stopped with the ram. Right, we just need to do that a couple of times, and uh, it should uh, wear them down slightly. Oh, more javelins coming in. That is not good. That is not good. Oh, dear. Well, they do have some epibartai on the way. I don't think these Isaiah epibartai are that good. I think they're slingers. So, we're going to charge them. Hopefully, we should be able to absolutely destroy them on the charge. Look at that. We killed quite a few of them there. Let's try that again. That was pretty darn good. Nice. Here we go. Another charge, guys. Another charge. Let's see. Okay, yeah. It's a pretty darn good charge. They're actually shaken now. But, uh, yeah. We're definitely going to have to keep getting out. We're not going to be able to stick in the fight with a 12 men there. And the Epivata, you know, they're not amazing units. But they're also not terrible. Quick, before they fire again, guys. Before they fire. Like I say, it's just about whittling them down here. Trying to get as many kills as possible on them. But that charge was actually awful. That was really not good. We are starting to lose a bit of power. Get a bit more tired now as well. So, let's see. Can we get a better charge off on this time? I mean, turning the men doesn't really work. That's the problem. So, I should probably set them up properly. Because look at that. That was not a good charge. So set up like that, boys. Set up like that, and hopefully we can get another good charge off on them. Here we go. This should be better. This should be better. They actually managed to reach charge. And they take out another 10 men also. I mean, if we can take out one unit, that would be good enough. I don't really care about them taking the city. Like I say, it uh, would be taken by the Day City 8 anyway. So let's go for the charge on them. Might try and kill their general sneakily, but I, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Charging in the back, generally, I know it sounds like when they're running away, never really seems to work. So, um, yeah, let's try someone else. 
to charge. What do we have? We've got Yuzonoi and Greek Archers. We should be able to get a good charge off on one of those. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we can do. Straight for the Yuzonoi, guys. Straight for the Yuzonoi. Hopefully we can get a good charge off on them. Uh, even though they are running, never seems to be a great charge when they're doing that. You can see we missed half of them. So that was a bit annoying. But it's okay. We're probably just going to get absolutely pummeled by javelins now. But apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently they're just going to keep on running. Then <laughs> They're like, don't stay. Don't stay. They're going to keep on running. And I love these settlements. Like the mixture of the Greco-Roman buildings with the barbarian ones. I think it's really cool. I do think it's really cool. Well, attack the Greek archers then at least. See if we can kill any of them. And yeah, I, I think we're just going to stick in the fight after the next charge. And just take just take the L, guys. Just take the L. But we've killed... Um, yeah, we nearly killed 100. <laughs> Some of them are going to get repaired with um, however many men it was. I think that was quite good. So, um, yep. Yeah, not a victory, but a loss. But um, killed a few men in the process. Well, there we go, guys. We killed 80 men. And like I say, every little helps, doesn't it? Hmm. So now we do have a bit of a decision to make. I think we do have to go and take this settlement back. Because I know it's going to be a bloody fight again, unfortunately. Oh, I think we have to go for it, though, guys. I think we do. Let's have a look. What do we have? We've got to Empire Size 3. So this is another mechanic as well. We are no longer Empire Size 3. So this will help us out with our economy per our Empire Size for being low. And then, you know, slightly uh, reduce our economy later down the line when we are a larger Empire. If we get to that point. If we survive, guys. If we survive. <laughs> Of course. We did get some slingers in Ryzon again. Now we are losing money now. We've lost the settlement. So that's a little bit annoying, but it's okay. We're only on minus 100. So we don't need to worry too much at all. Oh, I did not realize we were rioting over there. Hopefully this guy comes and attacks us and we can do... A field battle. But if not, we will siege the city again, guys. So let's end the turn there. Let's see what happens. Well, end of turn. Let's try and trade with the Romans. I wonder whether we can get an alliance. That's pretty good. Now, I don't know whether this will help us at all. I don't think it, you know, the AI takes into account your allies when they attack you. But, um, okay, yep, yeah, we'll accept that. That's going to bring us back positive. Good. Um, but it's good having an alliance with them for the time being so that they don't attack us. <laughs> We don't want Roman intervention in Illyria just yet, my friends, do we? Just yet. Uh, we've got a couple of farms now. Fantastic. Well, let's take back Narensopolis. So let's get into this battle, guys. It's very, very damaged. Pretty much... I mean, they've got a Thurio Foroy and a Hoplite. This is where the Axemen should really come into their own. So we're going to try and use them against the Hoplites or the Thurio Foroy. Cut through that armor. Got to say, I do really love this music as well that's playing the brand new... Well, I don't know whether it's brand new or not, or whether it's just because I've not played in this... Probably because I've not played in this region, but uh, it is really cool. It is nice to hear a different soundtrack for once. So we've opened the gates now, guys. We've got into the city, so we're going to just try and breach the city as well. We're getting absolutely shredded by the Thurio Foray on the Slingers, but that's really the best unit that could be attacking them, honestly. I'd much prefer that. You guys need to get in. You guys need to follow them up too. And we're going to send these boys in as well. Hopefully, I'm thinking if we can maybe hold the Thurio Foray for a second, that'd be amazing. Get into the Epibarti, guys. Go, go, go. Go, get into them. Get into them. We are taking a little bit from the Progemoy there, so I'm going to bring my cavalry forward. What I want to do is just hold this Thurio Foro. So get onto them, guys. Get onto them. I mean, if we can surround them here, though, that would be amazing. Let's try and get the footmen in as well. Surround them. Get the axemen down here to start chasing them. Right. Get there, guys. Get there. You're, you're messing up now. You're messing up. So um, we're also going to get the cavalry in. Slingers will bring you over here. Well, I reckon you can probably fire up that way against the Hoplites. <gasps> the Thurio Foray is escaping. That's not ideal. So we're going to just charge into the Greek archers here then. No problem. What I'm going to do then is bring these two units around this way. 
to try and engage some of the Thurio Foroi, etc. And I'm going to bring you as well, and the cavalry is going to come all the way around here. If you can do, there we go. Fantastic, guys. Absolutely fantastic. There goes a lot of their troops. So let's get in. The noble spearmen are fantastic, so they should do an amazing job against this Projamoy. That's their general going as well. Good, 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 good. Well, the spearmen, let's bring you up. I'm hoping we can try to maybe, you know, get a few of these guys engaged in the battle. So let's see. What do we have here? We've got Thurio Foray over there. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Just had to sneeze. Come on, can we not catch this goddamn Thurio Foray? Apparently not. Apparently not. Well, that's fine. The Noble Spearmen can stay back. We want to keep them saved as they are a very good unit. Um, right, and then what we're going to do, we're going to bring these guys through this way. Same as you can get over. Oh, looks like the cavalry's coming for the charge. So, uh, halt for a second. Halt for a second. You guys get back. Get back. Get back. It is only a Progemoy, so we should absolutely shred it. There we go. Fantastic. Um, and what do we want to do? Do we want to try and enclose on them from both sides? I think we do. I think we do. Where's the other guy? Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Let's go over here. What is this? That is the Uzonoi. They are an okay foot unit. Why are you going this way? Go that way, you idiots. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Alright, let's attack them. Oh, the Progenoi just keeps going for the uh, the charge, which is very annoying. Oh, we could block these guys off if we're careful here. N uh, there we go. Get engaged, get engaged. It's a bit of chaos again. Looks like they're going after Uzonoi, so we'll go and attack them. Let's see what we can do. Let's come around this way. We're going to bring the uh, the footmen out this way too. No, they're not footmen. They're the, slinger, uh, the slingers and skirmishers. No, come this way, guys. Come this way. Stop going the wrong way, bro. Stop going the wrong way. Let's get engaged with them. And what do we have in the back? We've got hoplites. I really don't want to engage those hoplites on the town square. That would be rather annoying. So uh, let's see what we can do about that. What do we have left? So we've got the footman. What I'm thinking is if we get the footman there and the uh, the axeman can maybe pull these guys. Oh, no. We've got the uh, three oi, four oi dead, dead to rights now. Let's go. Go, go, go. Guys, what are you doing, bro? Calm down for a second. Just get here. Get there. Get there. Get there. Oh, they won't path. They won't path with the trees. But that's okay. Now we can do this. Go, 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 guys. Go, go, go. And we'll get the uh, Noble Spearmen to hold them from the other side. There we go. We'll surround them now. Glorious. What do we have here? Attack the Thurio Foroi. You boys can come up here just to fire. Uh, and we've got cavalry now that can get around the back of these boys. So let's do that. And we'll charge this Thurio Foroi in the arse. Fantastic. Well, um, things seem to be looking up in this battle. It got a Oh, my God. The hoplites are broken. Kill them all before they get to the town square, guys. Kill them all. Kill them all. Come on. <laughs> Kill them all. And then this should be the battle. This should be the battle. Are you going to fire or just stand there? Fire, please. Okay. There we go. This should be the battle. There we go. Broken them instantly. Glorious. Now we've just got the horde on the town square. Go, boys. Go. Keep going, men. We hardly lost any men. I think we lost less than we did in that second battle. But a pretty glorious battle. I do like these layouts. A lot more fun to maneuver around them because there's a lot more space than it is through the Greek and the uh, sort of Roman ones. Um, but yeah, everyone just get in here. What are you doing, guys? Like, kill these guys. How, how hard is it to kill them all? There we go. Got the cavalry in. Glorious victory. Very nice indeed. 115 and uh, we killed all of their troops. That is fantastic. What a glorious victory, my friends. So, seeing as this was our settlement, I don't think there's any point in enslaving there at all. We do really need to upgrade that palisade, though. So, oh, well, we could actually force a draw-out battle here, though, if we're careful. So, I'm thinking, what do we want to leave behind? Let's leave behind that slave slinger. Because if we go and attack him, surely he's going to retreat. And he did. So how far did you retreat, though? Or you just retreated to there? Oh, well. Um, well, that's fine. <laughs> I was hoping they were going to retreat to Nestos, but Nestos doesn't have walls yet. Okay, this is going relatively well, I would say. 
Well, I'm going to do this battle probably off camera, guys, because all I'm going to do is just charge his general with my three generals, and that's it. Um, so, yeah, I'll do that off camera, and I'll be back in a second. Well, there we go, guys. Nice and easy. So, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here, but I'm going to uh, go for Nestos first, just so we can join in with our troops there. Um, and, yeah, that is going to be the first battle of next episode. And look at Issa here with that army defeated. They really don't have much. I do think, though, if we do take this, the Del Mate are definitely going to attack us. They've probably got a bit of troops at Corkira Melania over here, but they, I swear they had another settlement. Potentially, it's out there, but I'm, I'm not 100% certain. But net-wise, what have we netted? We've only netted one, one settlement this time because we've lost Nestos, but I think we've made good progress, guys. And yeah, the Day City 8s and the Del Mate are uneasy allies for now. I bet you next episode we're going to get absolutely ruined. But um, if you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively, massively appreciated. It does help the channel out. And uh, thanks to David once again for being the channel member. If you want to join the membership program, guys, you can get some awesome perks from as little as £1 or $1. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all again on the next video.